so we're back in Dubai. We left Abu Dhabi early because we have a special surprise for you. I know you're going to recognize this car if you're into racing at all. You've probably seen it on the Grand Tour. Check this out. Sweet. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have a chance to see this in person. It's been kept on the wraps for a long time. Yeah, Finally. I think the world knows this car fairly well already. The Grand Tour has uh, just pulled the surprise out. Yeah, so. we get the 1320 look now. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? Full GTR drivetrain? An entire GTR drivetrain. <laughs> Um, like you name it. I mean, the engine, the subframes, the suspension, spindles, brakes, transmission, rear subframe. Um, really? It's like everything under the car and the engine. Yeah. Uh, it's everything you can unbolt from the GDR driveline and basically make it fit in here. <laughs> so. And I saw it has a. Uh the little like air vents on the hood right. too. It has, it has the, the GTR themed hood, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's got the little race part Bumps. here. Yeah, it looks the same from the inside. Yeah, it's it's really it, it makes the makes the car like sporty. Yeah. You know, the front bumper, it's really nice accent as well. The whole thing is carbon. Oh yeah. So it's painted over some of the carbon. Yeah, they painted over some of it just to give it a little more mm -hmm. accent. Oh, and the hood's carbon. The hood's carbon. Yeah, so well. they had to they had to modify a carbon hood to put those vents on there. And they're functional. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, they're they're the original vents from the GTR basically. And I noticed that pretty much all of the front part of the interior is uh, GTR to the dash. Right. Like the uh, display. Most of the interior, yeah, <laughs> and refit. Mix and match. Right. Um, it's got the information display and the um, speedometer, the cluster. Yeah. So the, the R switches are functional. You gotta have that. Right. So you get the rolling anti leg on the steering wheel, Tim? Yes. Uh, so it's, it runs a Cybex standalone, so ah. it's, got, um, it's got all the functions you would see in a normal, like a crazy power GDR, mm -hmm. you know, like rolling anti leg, launch control. <laughs> Mike from. Um, he works here now, but he used to work for T1, then he started his own business, uh, Mac Fabrication. But he did the fabrication for all of this. When Wayne was here, uh, they flew him out. As you can see, the intake manifold is like a boost logic manifold. Yeah. The plenums have been flipped. flipped upside down just to get a little more clearance out of it. <laughs> is it uh, air to air intercooler? Air to air intercooler. Um, you know, nothing crazy. The car on the dyno at that point was making somewhere about 1900. Jesus. Uh, it probably would room to spare. Mm -hmm. So it's got a, uh, it's basically a T1 engine, um, Shep Trans. I think it's basically a stage five, what they consider a stage okay. five, I think. How big is the engine? Uh, it's a 4-1 stroker. 4-1. Um, How fast did it go on the guitar mile? Almost 330 or something, oh like kilometer an hour. Uh, that's a standing start, 800 meters. So there's <laughs> stock GTRs that are significantly slower than that. Yeah. So that's over 200 miles an hour. Over 200 miles an hour in 800 meters. Yeah. It's it's fast. Me and Saeed, like the driver, did like countless nights of just running it up and down and just mm -hmm. going through all the bugs and you know just kind of making sure that it's gonna run. And oh yeah. Since we've done that, the car's been flawless. When you're going that fast, it's got to run flawless. You don't want to yeah. have any small hiccups and yeah. uh, exactly. in an SUV on big sidewall tires. <laughs> yes, uh, these are actually um, like road race tires. Yeah. So they're. They handle pretty good at speed so let's get a and stuff like that, so they're DOT legal. Oh, that's it's, impressive. It's pretty neat. It's got the carbon brake kit um, on it. so it makes. Oh, the GTR carbon brakes? <laughs> yeah, it's got the GTR carbon brake kit, which makes it look a lot nicer. Um, stop a lot better as well. Oh, I'm sure. So what we were told is that somewhere about 340, the car may have started to lift off. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good thing. Uh, I didn't go over that. I didn't go over that. Oh, so, man. Yeah, it still has comfortable seating and 
and everything else. <laughs> they sent they sent a GTR and they got a shell back. Everything that can come off the GTR went into this. <laughs> what else should we know about this beast? Let's go try it out. Yeah. It should speak for itself. I think. Amen. It looks so cool. Easy to drive. Well, it's it's kind of odd to drive, to be honest. Yeah, I bet. Torque steer quite a bit. Yeah, it does. What kind of power is that right now? You think? I guess something around 1600. <laughs> yeah. Let me roll the window down and just crack. Yes. You know, it's crazy. It's like not that. It's not. It's not a race car. It's not. To be honest. <laughs> you can hear the GTR drive. Transmission's a little noisy, but that's it used expected. To be a, it used to be a sleeper once, but no. <laughs> now everybody in the world knows it. Even people that don't know race cars know it. I love it. it has all GTR steering wheel dash. This is so cool. So is a GTR to here, yeah. and then patrol. GTR, patrol, uh, patrol, GTR, 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 <laughs> GTR. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's it. The door handles from the outside are GTR as well. So oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, are these switches? I guess Nissan, yeah. Nissan. Once it gets up, like once it gets momentum, it's just like any other 1500 horsepower car just pulling. Thank you, that was... <laughs> Is that something to go back to the States with? Yes. <laughs> I've ridden in a 800 horsepower patrol. Okay. I've ridden in a thousand, but this is, it's just solid. The uh, stick shift one. Stick shift. That. You find so much going on in the cab and shifting and stuff, and you do so much. Yeah, but it's 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 fun. Yeah, it's, it's just not good for racing. It just hits it so hard. It's crazy. Well, I've got a <laughs> I've got a permanent smile for my 16 hours of flying to go home. <laughs> oh my god. 
1500 horsepower in a patrol. <laughs> and that's not all the way up. No, really, no. I, I would not want to be in here for a half mile run. <laughs> I can't get over how streetable it is. It's a little loud, but it's not any louder than a GTR. Does it have mufflers? Yes, it does. It's just really short exhaust. <laughs> Thank you again. That Thank you. was that was definitely fun. <laughs> we had the opportunity to go see Khalifa's collection of like, okay. I don't know, 50, 80 million dollars in cars yeah, or whatever. Crazy. I was like, I want to go see the patrol because I need like three hours in that collection to have fun. And this, this is a different kind of fun. If you don't know, this is the Arabic stick. But this guy drives like nobody I've ever seen before. <laughs> drive. It's luck. I felt very safe. Very he knew where the bumps were at too. That was a treat. Oh, thank you again. Thank you.